Hello and welcome to Contractor's Point of View. My name is Gary and today we're going to be taking a look at two thin cases for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So I have my Fold 4 here. It's always in a case but uh, you can see everything's still really good shape. Loving, loving this phone. Um, <clears throat> I called over to uh, Encased uh, this brand here and asked them if they'd be willing to send me a case hoping that they would send me the holster case, which they actually sent me the S Pen case, which I probably am not gonna use, but I'm gonna do the video on both of these. I prefer the holster case because uh, I prefer the belt clip and it holds my phone. I don't put my phones in my pockets. So if that's something that you're interested in, or if you need the S Pen case, I have both here that we're going to try on the phone. So since we're going to go, since I know I'm going to be using the, the holster case, we'll put the S Pen case on first. And so it just comes with the thin case for the front and the back. And then you have a place here to insert the S Pen. Now what's interesting is it does come with its own screen protector. So sometimes these are a little thin, sometimes these are a little thick. So it depends on your liking and how much uh, you can, you know, get used to this. I like having the built-in screen protector. That way I don't have to mess with putting on tempered glass or anything onto this. And it's it suffice, it does good. So uh, had I known that I was going to be getting a black case, I probably would have opted for the Samsung case with the S Pen that was gray or black so that it would match, but it doesn't matter. That's where it slides in so you can keep it. So to put it on the phone, now it does have some adhesive strips here, which I'm not going to peel off because I don't want to mess up the adhesive, but you peel it off before you put it on the phone and then that will snap in just like that. Okay, not really, you know, it has some hinge protection, but uh, you know, nothing, nothing special there. But it does uh, protect the back of the phone. Okay. And it is uh, corrugated there, so. So we will peel off the inside screen protector though, because we want to see what it looks like. And I'm going to peel off this. There we go. And then this is going to go onto the front. Snaps on. And you kind of want to slide your finger across, get the he adhesive set and then you can peel off the front for the screen protector. So everything's there. You can see it still registers my finger touching, stuff like that. So that still works. And then you have your S Pen. So then now we know the S Pen does not work on the front screen. Obviously it'll work on the inside screen. So I'll unlock that. And you can see everything still does what it's supposed to. Um, very thin bezels around the edge of the device. So it's a thinner case. Um, I kind of like it, except for me, it adds a little bit too much thickness and that's why I don't carry my S Pen. Um, I don't ever use it. So, but that does open up for when you do, uh, oops, open the device and uh, it sits like this. Now having this on there, you're not gonna be able to lay it in something that's wireless charged with it open. Obviously if it's closed, it'll work just fine. So you're good to go there. And you can see I'm already getting fingerprints on this. So, but that is the one for encased and that is the S Pen holder. Now, before we put on the one that is the holster case, I'm gonna try something here. So that's the case that goes on it with the holster. I'm gonna check and see if this will slide in. Boom, done. Just order both. Look at that, it slides right in. Why did not they, oh my gosh, why didn't they include the holster with this? That's like perfect, it slides in. 
Mm, so frustrating. So frustrating. So look at that. There's the best of both worlds. You've got, if you have to carry the S Pen and you need the clip, uh, it's done. You're, you're there. It fits right in and it's not coming out. It's not falling out. So that is perfect. Dang. Well, me, myself, I don't use the S Pen at all, ever. So it's not even concern. But if you did, now you can get the S Pen encased holder and then order the clip as well. Both of these together is actually cheaper than some of the other brands uh, out there because I've seen them upwards of $80, $90. These are both less than 20 bucks a piece. So both of them together, you still get the S Pen and you get an extra case if you need it. Good gosh, look at that. I know, I know. Look, fits. I mean, like a glove. That's sad. That's really sad. Okay, well, so now you see what the uh, S Pen holder looks like on it. Let's put the one that's not an S Pen holder. Don't. And as I drop everything. Okay, so let's uh, wipe it down a little bit. Okay, so this will just pop on here. Now this one for some reason doesn't have any adhesive and I end up putting adhesive on them myself just because I don't like them wiggling around and moving. Um, so far this one doesn't move, so. But that's, you don't have any hinge protection with this one or S Pen carrying uh, that comes with the clip and there it is. That will be my case. That will be the one I use. You can see it does not fall out of there. Um, and you can rotate this, whatever. And literally, I just hook this on my pocket. I don't hook it on my belt. I actually just shove that in my pocket. It sits right there and uh, allows it to move around. This is really nice. Feels really good. Uh, it's kind of slick when you first get it. But um, yeah, boom, check that out. Oh, yeah, gotta love it. Okay, cool. So that there goes with that. And then you have the S Pen, which actually fits in there too. Now do you see the adhesive, why I didn't want to pull it off? Because the adhesive comes out. You can put it back in place. Um, I'll throw a link in the description of where I get the adhesive if you want to put on your own adhesive, stuff like that. I'll also have links for these cases down in the description. This by far is going to be my easiest choice. Um, I do have a few more cases that I'm going to be trying out for the Fold 4, but uh, this here is an easy choice for me. As you can see, I throw it everywhere. Um, yeah, beautiful phone, beautiful case. Gotta love it. So until next time, if you have any questions, comment down below and uh, I'll see you about answering your questions. Until next time, stay safe out there.